And ladies and gentlemen, paid versus AAO. Paid to the Bravo spawn, AAO to the Alpha spawn. So for paid, Gearing, Marceau, Daring, Napoli, Moskva, Nevsky, Moskva, Montana, and Ohio. And remember, this is because of that St. Vincent ban. St. Vincent gets banned out, and suddenly the battleships change. Just a little bit. Kleber, Kleber, Daring for the side of AAO, along with Petro, Moskva, Des Moines, Moskva, Yamato, and Kremlin. So immediately we start to see a lot of battleship variety with the St. Vincent but because we practice it. ban coming into effect. Now... Early start thought is, I like the Klebers. Um Double Kleber is going to be very strong for early aggression. But if you're not careful, you can get spotted and just start getting slapped by the enemy team because you have that long-range detection. Each team does have a fair amount of radar. Three radars on the side of Paid. Four radars on the side of AAO. So it'll be interesting to keep an eye out and see who wins the DD fight, because I think this game's going to come down to the DDs. I'm also intrigued to see how these teams do with the fact that we've seen a lot of St. Vincent's recently, and so now they're being forced off of potentially having been playing St. Vincent's, so how they do with other battleships that they may not have been pr as practiced on. But we'll have to keep an eye out and see what happens. So as we look into this, ladies and gentlemen, um, early start, Klebers are going hard towards A. This is an aggressive line. Looks like they're going to change the lineup. That was a very aggressive start. Moskva of Total Papega has put himself into an unusual position because I usually don't see a ship there to start. But if you notice, he will be able to get far enough forward that he will have full radar coverage of the cap. And usually you see the cruiser over here. So intriguing CAAO putting him over here. Kleber's not going anywhere, so Marceau's going to get the early A cap, and there's nothing at A right now. But a huge push, push. Five ships and a Kremlin that are hovering towards the C side of the map. So we're going to have to watch this. Four ships only for the side of Paid going that way. Gearing, smoking up the Nevsky and Napoli, letting them get further forward. Expect to see them prepped on that flank. I'm interested to see where the Des Moines of uh, Nicey Nader ends up. I suspect he'll probably end up somewhere towards the 9-10 line. Shells out on that Yamato. That Yamato being spotted from that far away. Oh, he shot. Okay. I was very confused for a bit. Moskva manages to dodge, doesn't take any damage. And now the shots start to open up on the Kremlin and on the Yamato. Small hit onto the Kremlin. 10,000 off the... Or small hit onto the Yamato. 10,000 off the Kremlin. That's a big first chunk, and we're going to see that Kremlin focused for a bit here. He's on a burn, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to have to use that healer DCP at some point. Down 20,000 health already. I mean, it's a Kremlin, so it's tanky, but that thing has not had a good start to the game. Being in a Kremlin and you've already lost 20,000 health and your heal is basically just barely keeping you at 90,000 right now, that does not feel good. Down to 83,000 Goodness gracious, this fire from Paid on that Kremlin is disgusting. His heal's gonna bring him back up to mid 80,000s, but he's also forced to DCP. And so, like I said, that's a lot of damage early on in a Kremlin. I mean, Kremlin is tanky, he'll be fine for the time being, but to have an early start where after you use a heal, you're down 25,000. And. Blind fire in. Oh, he's so lucky he didn't get hit with a fire there. 30,000 health, though, already off the Kremlin. It's insane. After a heal. Um, anyway, back into the game. Cap has been taken and is ticking up for the side of Paid. AAO is moving their Kleberes over, but the Kleberes don't seem to know what they want to do exactly yet. Moskva of Total Papega has been spotted. Takes a 5k chunk. And now we see that Napoli of need aim bot to aim sitting angled out on the edge. Nevsky hiding behind the gearing smoke, but the gearing smoke is dissipating, so he will be spotted soon. They're trying to get shots in there on Sol before he gets 
in or Nicey Nader. Nicey Nader takes a little bit of damage, but he's going to get pretty safely to that island. And with that being said, we're just going to watch this action for a minute. So, as I look on this, uh, we see the Colberts have finally moved in day. Marceau took a fight with them, came off worse for wear, about 10,000 health loss versus about 5,000 health loss. He is going to spot both of them, be able to get off a set of shots without being detected. Shots are down range, no hit. A is going to be capped, and that points lead is going to drop. Daring getting ready to move into B, but Klutz has to be very careful. He has not one, but two radars there that are going to be in a position to spot him if they're not careful. And now the fight's starting to happen on the border. Focus Fire seems to be like it's going towards the Yamato uh, for those that can't hit the Des Moines and the Des Moines for those that can. And big hit on the Des Moines. 20,000 off of Nicenator. That is a painful hit to take. Just absolutely smashed at that range. Napoli continuing to cut back. Still very good on health. Nevsky taking advantage of the second smoke from the gearing. Busy spamming out. Napoli Torps are out. They're going to miss the Moskva. Yamato down about 20,000 health right now. Hasn't used the heal yet. So, um, with that being said, he'll be able to heal back up, but it'll be painful. Now, Daring of Klutz has gotten B, which is... A little bit surprising, honestly. Both the, the, the Petro didn't radar for them to try to kill B, but I guess they're holding it for something else. So maybe a little bit of a misplay there by AAO, maybe intentional, but Klutz takes B. And he gets out still with just a loss of 2,000 health, which doesn't feel bad at all. Napoli down to 43,000. So as I'm watching this, it's a two cap to one lead for the side of AAO. They're going to poke up. And take the lead on points here soon. It's about an 18,000, 20,000 health lead for the side of Paid, though. Now, watch for here. I'm interested to see what happens with A. Klebers are hovering there, but it looks like the Earl of North Esk is backing up slowly. I'm going to be interested to see if they're about to execute a push-in. Because it looks like the Montana is moving up as well. Daring coming over. This looks like they're getting ready to execute a push on to A. And the Napoli gets hit really hard down there. 26,000 health left. And down to 25,000. Yamato and Moskva taking a little bit of damage, but not enough to dissuade them from continuing to push that Napoli back. And the Napoli is down to 21,000. 50 seconds till he can heal. He'll heal back up into the 30Ks, but yeah, this push, we can see this push is getting ready to start. Moskva is backed up, and they're about to push in. They can see the Moskva. Here comes the push, and you can see the Kleber is already getting ready to run away and saying, we can't take this fight right now, which is the absolute right call. So, a little bit of a chess game here. Paid moving over to the ships to A, but once they take A, where are they going to push them to in order to, um... Where are they going to push them to in order to continue to move that advantage forward? That will be the question we'll have to keep an eye out on. Torps in. Moskva dodges the first set. Moskva second set won't reach him and so a will be contested and taken we see the daring of Saul getting ready to move into B that's the counterplay go back you move four ships over to a well we'll move the daring in to try to take B Kremlin meanwhile down to two heels still sitting at about that 80,000 health mark we saw last time but down another heel so his health pool still not a major issue but gotta keep an eye on that as those heels start to get ticked up slowly but surely I mean, that Moskva's just farming him every chance he gets. Oh, and the Kleberts have been spotted. Moskva doesn't even have, hasn't even radared them, and they're both spotted. One down to 8,000, one down to 9,000. That feels rough. Oh, and Vashka down to 6,600. That Moskva's fire is absolutely beautiful to watch. 5,500, they get dark. Will this Montana shot be enough to kill? 
It's in. It's not going to kill, but it will take the Colbert down to 7,000. So both those Colbert's, a combined 12,000, 13,000 health between the two of them, and they've been forced off. And now here comes the pushback in. B is being contested by the Daring. The Moskva radar will spot him, and he will choose to leave the cap. And with those Colbert's being forced back, they are still absolutely potent with Adrenaline Rush, but that's a lot of health, and they didn't gain really anything from that. Maybe a bit of damage onto the Marceau and the Montana, but nothing that justifies the amount of health they've taken. Now, if they can farm the Montana down here, that'll be a big advantage, and it looks like they are going to for a bit. We'll see if the Montana opens up on them. Daring's still spotted. Radar gonna end in five seconds. Daring has taken about a third of his health in damage. More shots coming in. He has one heal left, so he'll be okay for the minute but not too long. Down to 12,000. That takes him down to about 50,000 health. His heal will only bump him back up probably to about 15k. He's trying to back in. He's stuck in that gap. He's on another radar, and that radar is going to last for another 20 seconds. He'll have a minute to try to aggress the cap, but everybody's focusing in on him. Daring has moved up, and Daring's going to start slamming him, and that's going to force the... Uh, soul to move forward down to 8,000 now down to 7,000 he's not going to die on this one because um that radar is about to tick out but that is a really rough feel to be down to 3,800 right here oh that's actually more it's not gonna well oh that might kill him ladies and gentlemen yeah daring's dead he doesn't have the health and they get him clutz with some absolutely clutch shots in there finishes off the daring of AAO, and that's first blood 11 minutes into the game. 200 point lead, um, or 150 point lead for the side of paid. AAO holding one cap to two, and also down about 45,000 health. Decent shots on the Nevsky, but now with that push at A having reaped so much reward for paid, they're gonna push forward and they're going to continue to take control of this game. Moskva of Total Papega sitting in the only spot he's even somewhat safe, but he's still got to deal with an Iowa. 5k off him there. He's going to pop the heal. Moskva, this is his second to last heal. And for the side of AAO, you still have time. But as paid hits 750, you're, you've got to make a play now, and you've got to execute some sort of play. And I'm looking for where Everything the play is, is and draws near. Paid's position just feels so good here. So we look at this. As we look at this, and we'll go, we're going to go this map view real quick. You look at this. Petro, stuck. He can't push forward because he's going to run to Moskva Crossfire. Klebers have to deal with Marceau, Moskva, Montana still over here. Moskva pushes forward, runs into that Moskva, but getting farmed up by the Ohio. These three ships are coming down the edge, which will relieve a little bit of pressure, but they only got two and a half minutes to do it. This is going to be a very challenging comeback for the side of AAO. And they're down now 200 points. And that Kremlin has used all his heals now, 62,000 health, but that's what he's got. And he's got two DCPs left. If these shells start a fire, that's going to feel really rough for him. Shells are in. No fire. He breathes a sigh of relief. But yeah, that Moskva is healed up to 35k. He's got one heal left. Ohio's just continuing to whittle him down every time he gets a shot. Misses those there. But Paid is content to say, you've got to push into us. That's all Paid has to do is just have AAO push into them. They're not going to... AAO's not going to win unless they push, and we can see the push coming here. Marceau's trying to get the win, or Kleber's trying to get the win. Damage out onto the Moskva, but one Kleber down to 3,000 health. Shots out from the Montana, shots out from the Moskva, 1,600, and he dodges the Montana shells. Moskva going to try again here in a second. Moskva still has radar for a while, but they're also spotted. Earl of North Esk doesn't push far enough forward for those shells to hit him, but the Montana takes a big chunk from the Kremlin. And 270 health on the Colbert. He's burning out. He's gone. Second kill in. And now the focus changes to Black Blueberry. Try saying that five times fast. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it's 30 seconds. They're looking for the kill, but they're not finding it anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Big hit onto the Des Moines of Nicenator. Nicenator might just go down. Nicenator goes down. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen... 
will be the side of Paid taking game one and putting themselves one step away from moving on. It's not supposed to be. Oh, sorry. There we go. Paid. Whoopsie. Streamer error. <laughs>